Hi, this is Jennifer here with City Farmhouse Antiques, and I am here with this week's Find of the Week. And this week, I have these gorgeous uh, antique um, mantle lusters. And these go quite back. They're rich in history to the 17th and 18th century. And especially during the Victorian era. And you can see all the prisms that they have and all the extreme detail in in these pieces and so these are actually spelled lusters l-u-s-t-e-r-s -E or they can also be spelled lusters l-u-s-t-r-e-s -E so they're found both ways but these would have typically stood some of them are they're very in height so they can be anywhere from six inches to 16 well probably 14 15 16 inches tall they can be huge and they can be made from all kinds of different colored glass. Red was the most common. Blue, the cobalt blue is the rarest and hardest to find. I have a set of those coming. Um, these are actually like a, a pink and a lot of them have like a tulip edged rim. Of course, the more ornate they are, the more prisms they have will vary the value of the pieces. Sometimes it's, it's typical to find a single row of prisms on these in vari various lengths. Um, a more rarer find would be to have like a second level of prisms coming off, a two layered prisms. And some can be found with as many as three to five levels of prisms coming out. And so these are antique candle holders is really what they are. And so the candle would have gone inside here, rested in here. And of course the whole theory is, is that the more prisms you have and the cutouts in the glass, the more light that's gonna illuminate from the candle holder. And so during the Victorian period, I mean, anyone who was anyone, these were considered a, a status of wealth, owned at least one pair of these. And they would sit on the table or sit on the mantel and be used as a decoration or, of course, to put candles in. Um, and people collect these still today. Um, there were many makers. Moser was probably the most famous maker um, and has the most valuable of the um, collectible lusters today, but uh, Bohemian lusters are are, are um, still very sought after, and a lot of them were made uh, in Bohemia. And so these you can see are cut to clear. This is a green a green piece. You can see it a little better there, but you can see how the glass is cut to clear. There you can see it a little better. You can see the gold gild. A lot of them will be decorated with gold gild along the scalloped edges, along the top with banding. And this is cut to clear. So what this means is that these had to be made a little bit thicker and they, they've got layers of glass. So you've got a white layer of glass and then you've got your green layer of glass. And then they would etch, they would etch all through there um, so that you again cut to clear to to show that clear colored glass underneath so that may be pink it may be red it could be green um, these happen to be pink and then of course you'd have here's more of a gold guild pattern on this side here and then you'd have on a lot of these pieces hand enamel painted flowers but you can see the attention to detail on all of these pieces um, on the designs with the florals and all of that. Uh, sometimes you can tell the more um, the more modern pieces are gonna be thicker, thicker glass. Let's see if I can get a close up of this and you can see the hand painting on here and all of the gold guild on, on this pink pair. And you can see that it's got multiple layers of cut to clear glass in different colors. And another neat idea is, you know, a lot of people, of course, cherish 
their pieces and their antiques and rightfully so, but use them. So if you collect these, use them, use them for what they were intended for, but protect the pieces as you do it. So put candles in them. Go ahead and use like a votive candle. You always wanna protect older glass from heat because it will crack and you'll destroy the piece. So I would put like a tea light and then that is already in like a clear glass um, bottom or candle holder and then just place it right, you know, inside here, inside the bowl because these bowls are pretty good size. They're about four inches inside, five inches. Um, this one's a little bit bigger and then you're going to have that light that illuminates inside and then through your lusters. You can also use them for a special occasion on your table. Again, for flower arrangements. So again, you could use like a small, short, clear glass vase on the inside to hold your water, hold your florals, and then have a floral arrangement coming out. This big pair, this big pair back here are probably about 13 inches tall. And then these are a little shorter, probably about um, 10 inches tall, 10, 11 inches tall. And these prisms, you can see these have a double, a double um, hexa, like a hexagon shaped prism, and then they come down into these. And then these are are the singles up here, and then come down into the same. But you can see all of the beveled um, cut glass on every single prism, and so that's how you're going to radiate all of that light you know with a single candle so use them enjoy them we spend all this money buying things saving things for a rainy day and we don't use them we have to start living for today myself included so be sure and check us out on our website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com where we have more than just antiques and give us a like on facebook and sign up for our newsletter so you can see all of our new arrivals have a great week.